and we're going to try to get a game here right now. Um, play Sinsuat. Hey, if we got... Oh, are these all the players who are online here? Um, I meant to point this out to the devs. Uh, I can't see a damn thing on this display. All the font's really small and there's no font setting and I've tried, like, control plus to zoom in and last I tried that didn't work at all. Um, so, alright, uh, but I'm told that Sinsu at is... Oh, okay, this guy. Oh, great. Yeah, he's rated like 2,000. He'll be a bit of a challenge. I'm going to lose all my counter coins. Now, which one of these is... That's like the add a friend, the message, and this is the challenge button? Alright. Um... Three minute... Hmm... Let's do three, two. Two second increment per move. Uh, do I really want to warm up with a three, two against a, such a good player? Let's do five minutes. Um, with a small increment there. And see if Sinsuat is responding or not. Random colors. Here we go. Um, you know, I actually have no idea. I've played, like... To, I think about four games on this site. Last time I played, um, one of the regulars here was trying to snipe me. Well, snipe is the wrong word, but they were trying to take advantage of playing against new players. Um, one of these regulars is actually a national master under the U.S. Chess Federation. We had a number of games. Um, he was not completely awake or something like that, so I actually ended up uh, doubling my coin count against him, despite him being a master. But I didn't get too many games in, so I think my ranking or rating right now is 17-something down here. Can't quite read it. Um, but it probably, on most sites, it's somewhere around 18 to 1900, but it varies by site. Okay, player has declined my challenge. Bummer. Alright, that's okay. Uh, so yeah, we have nothing in the challenge queue. So, okay, here's the lobby. If I could click one of these fast enough, but I don't want to play two-minute chess. Let's go get... Where is the button to create a table? Create a table. Whoops. Close. Nope, nope, nope. Um, three minute, two second increment. Random color. Stake of, uh, let's see, we've got a hundred something thousand coins. Let's make this 200 just to get warmed up. Alright, let's see if we get anybody who wants my 200 coins. I'm 1712. Okay, great. Is the music too loud, by the way? I can tone it down a bit. I think it probably goes in and out of being too loud. Alright, so... My clubmate plays this opening all the time. Although, usually black responds knight f6 and I bring out the bishop. But, um... So we're kind of already... Wading into new waters here. Um... Hang on. That is weird. That is non-standard. That actually lets me move my bishop out without consequence. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Right-click offers the coin. I've changed that setting like five times to not do that, but we've just doubled the stakes of this game um, as I brought my bishop out, so that's great. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, hey, look at that. Pinback. Uh, lovely fellow in our chat here is playing. Awesome. He's totally going to snipe me. Um, and I'll have to accuse him of all kinds of nasty things if he wins. Because that's how it goes. Um, yeah, so... Oh, it's my move. Yeah, this music's actually uh, distracting in that I don't hear the board click noises because my music's too loud. So, yeah, that's that would be a free pawn. Um, I don't know this setup that well, but I think I can try to hold on to it with my queen. Just carefully position the queen not on the square attacked by the knight. 
Um, I think my position's okay, but not great. At some point, they're going to play this up to hold... Oh, or not. They're just going to try to smash things open. But that's not how it works. Um, trading a knight for a bishop is not generally a good trade. Um, I would say it varies a lot, and that's one of the points that top players contest quite a bit. Um, it's why we play the game, is to try to answer questions like that. Um, it's actually a really difficult question. Alright, so if I push the pawn, he plays the bishop out, and I can't. <laughs> okay, well, do... Oh, yay, yay. I don't like my position. That was a good Contra. Whatever. I'm going to lose 1,600 coins, but I don't care. It's a nice, friendly game. Um, here, let's kick the knight. I think this is a friendly way to kick it. <laughs> I'm not going to lose 1,600 coins. Well, that's a relief. Like I said, I'm new to the sites. So I don't really know, like, my strength on this. Oh, he's read 16, not 1838. Okay, so I have a chance, is what we're saying. Um, I don't need to panic so much. Um, I still really don't like my position at all, but... I guess my consolation is that, um, my opponent doesn't like his or something. Um... YOLO! Here we go. We're just gonna bust this open and hope something good happens. Oh, on other sites you're 1300, so apparently you're... Even though you don't have a question mark next to your number, uh, you're kinda new to this site. Or something. Or other sites are just too critical about your number, or I don't know. People have all kinds of opinions about numbers. I just say my number on most sites is around 18 to 1900. Um, so it's probably going to be somewhere around 1,800 on this site, if I had to guess. Um, okay, I expected he'd do that. Let's shut in the rook. So this is actually a really disgusting position for me. Um, hopefully my opponent won't figure out why. Okay, I can deal with this. This I can work with. Uh, do I take it? Hmm. You saw that I was going to attack his rook with my bishop or something like that. But I don't think this is the best square for the rook either. Um. Oh, you won a lot of 30 second games. Well, that's pretty fun. Those are great. Alright, so... Um, let's anchor this bishop in, so this bishop's nice here at home, and I've cleared the path for my other bishop to get into the action. Um, but that's just a distraction from my real plan. Oh, uh, okay, I have a decision to make. Pawn takes or bishop takes? I don't like queen takes at all, so... Pawn takes to just cement this bishop in. Um. Oh. Jeez, that's... I don't like this decision at all. I have to make a decision here. Oh man, that's a good knight, but I don't want to take it. It's a really good knight. That's really hard to turn down. So I'm going to have to start moving faster here. Um... I still don't have any advantage, but I'm trying to work on that. Okay. Um. Not saying anything, but he's probably watching, so... He probably knows what I'm up to. Oh god. Thankfully, I've got this, or I'd be screwed. Um, so yeah, everything's fine. There's just a momentary panic, after which everything was perfectly fine. 
Okay. I've got this. I've got this. So I double the stakes again. Uh, I've so got this. So, yeah, this rook can't move. But also my rook on F1's defended, just in case shit did somehow hit the fan. Um, now the fun part. If he takes that, this rook hangs. So he can't take it, but if he doesn't take it, I just get this for free. Uh, one thing to watch out for, I did put an increment on this game. Uh, meaning, we get time with every move, so I'm not going to run out of time. Even though, for a little bit there, I was down on time. Um, um, I'm not going to run out of time on this game. Good game. Good game. Alright, I missed the chat. What happened here? Um, yeah. Yeah, 30 second chess is addictive stuff here. Again, we could do a low stakes game. Let me... How do I turn off the right click to Contra thing? On, off. Yeah, no, I turned that off. And it did it anyway. I'm not too happy about that. Um, that's okay. This is a good game. GG. Alright, let's seek another 3-2 low stakes game. Let's see if we can get an opponent. So many kitties in here. Oh, wow. We got Rack the Kitty. Uh, spoiled Kitty. Um, sadly, I have no cat emotes. Oh, my turn. I get white again? Oh, hey, look. We're playing against one of the developers. He's got, like, their logo. Um, ooh, okay, okay. YOLO. Here we go. Don't ever play this at home. Don't ever play this. This is nonsense. This is ridiculousness of the um, most ridiculous order. Um, this You will not find any chess master who recommends this sort of play. It is wildly speculative. It's fun to play in speed chess. <laughs> Cat pride. Oh dear. Oh dear, he had to go there. Very nice. Well done. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, basically I've played the only thing that's going to throw my opponent off their game because now they don't know if they're castling that way or not. Well, I mean... Okay. But does fine gold play it in this position? I mean, he's pretty good. I do have to give props where props are due. He's quite uh, an excellent chess player. But does he play it in this position? Probably. Um, okay. What if I do this? Just to really confuse my opponent. Why did I go for this anyway? There's so many other good openings I could play, but it's Friday. So I felt like doing something wonky instead. Um. Alright, so... Yeah, I guess... Like, I'm trying to vaguely menace doing things on this side of the board without overly committing to any one idea. Which, again, is a terrible strategy because you're just... Um, if you're playing with no aim like that, bad things happen. Um, but it's fun to play speculatively once in a while. So I've trapped my bishop here. Um, which is great. Alright, so he retreats, but his knight is hemmed in by my pawns. So I'm going to go back and protect this pawn so I don't lose it. And suddenly my position's okay. Funny how that works. 
Yeah, sorry. Um, the overlay they provided kind of occludes the seconds of the clock. You can still see the minute count, which I think, I mean, more than good enough for most games. Um, but it'd be nice if they had an overlay that you would allow you to see everything. Um, here, let's pin this knight. So they're probably going to do something to block this uh, pin on the king. Um, Alright, so I think this is going to be a position where the knight is better than the bishop. I think. Time will tell. Um, ooh, I wish I could take twice on this square. That'd be really nice. All right, so I still haven't decided which direction I'm castling. Oh, hang on. Hang on, I'm not paying attention. I need to pay attention. We can't give away our pawn for free with check. That would be bad. That would be a bad thing to do. All right, let's go back. None of that ever happened. I never gave this away with check and lost my king. I was paying attention the whole time. <laughs> you have to ask nicely, or just join their Discord. Embrace the madness. Um, Alright, so go ahead, take my pawn. See if I care. I do care, but I'm going to pretend I don't. Because this is how you get fun games, is you give away material, and sometimes your opponent takes it and gets in a lot of trouble. Um, okay, so they took my knight. That wasn't very nice. Here, let's, let's get my king over here and my rook over here. Let's just do everything we can to confuse him. I thought I got rid of all the Rush Hour music. Um, apparently I forgot one. Sorry about that. Although the timing couldn't be better. Alright, here we go. I've castled this way. Um, which is probably unwise too, because um, he's threatening to mount an attack here. So... Unless I can completely rebuff it, I'm in serious danger. But I think I'm okay. I think I got it under control. Oh, did I not? There's more rush hour tracks here. And I'm in time pressure. But this music's annoying, so we're gonna go... We're gonna go back up to the top. There we go. That's more relaxing. That's our relaxing, joyful music that we need. Although, that's the title track, so we don't need that. Here we go. This is better. Okay, let's not lose the king. Not losing the king is a good priority. Um, so, yeah, I've completely blockaded this side of the board. I'm estimating it'll take them like five to six turns to break through. Meanwhile, it's going to take me one turn to break through over here. So, this is looking like a win for me. Oh, why am I not... Yeah, of course I should offer the coin. Which, yeah. Offering the coin is kind of a dick move in that circumstance, because all he can do is resign. Or play like super ambitiously, I guess, but... Yeah, that was a good game. Um, Alright, so can I catch him out of what he's familiar with? If he is indeed familiar with this kind of stuff. Rook to the center file. There we go. Bishop takes knight. Knight takes pawn. Knight takes... There we go. Pawn to d4. Uh, bishop, knight, something. Yeah, there we go. Uh, do I play f6 or f5? Oh wait, no, this is what the experts tell me to do is circulate my knight. 
Uh, it's kind of weird, though. I'm not sure how this goes. Oh! Oh! Whoa! What is that? Um... That's ambitious. That is... Yeah, ambitious is really the only word to describe that. Um... Okay, let's get my... I'm debating, do I push my pawn? Or do I move my knight out? How fast do I think I'm going to attack here? I think fast. I think I don't have time to push the pawn. I think we've got to go all in on this. So we'll see how it goes. Then of course, um, as I'm do oh, well, the bishop's kind of an easy target there. Um, just have to be careful, but you know that's attacking three pieces at once, so he's probably gonna take. Yeah. So his bishop and pawn are on the same square color. Which I'm going to claim is a long-term advantage for me. So as long as I survive this part of the game, um, I'm doing better now. And I don't have to attack in such a hurry. Though, if I could get my bishop in the center square, then we're golden. That, that's like the idyllic, ideal, whatever position here. And my opponent's just going to let me do it, so we're going to do it. Plant the bishop right in the center of the board. So what that achieves is that my one bishop attacks his side of the board. My other bishop is not um, blocked by any of my pawns. Okay, he might get these pawns pretty far advanced, but uh, this position is just beautiful. Um, so my only question is now, do I bother kicking the knight? Also, let's Contra. Let's double the stakes, because I think I'm better here. The downside of the doubling the stakes is that if I don't win, like if this is a draw or a loss, uh, I lose the whole pot. But I'm feeling pretty confident about this one, so let's see where we go. Alright, so... I was going to push this one square, but then he's got this nasty check in the center. So I'm going to push it two instead, and this queen doesn't really have too many squares to go to. Oh. Okay, I can't push this. That would be a perpetual check. Um. Wait a second. Uh, where are my endgame chances here? Not as great as my middle game chances. I should keep us in a middle game. Do I have a way to do that feasibly? Mm. It's going to be hard. Um, it's going to be hard. Alright. Um, this is my best chance to win, so we're going to play this. It's very risky, though. So I have to win this, and the key to that might be winning on time. Or confusing him. Um, so I protect this so there's no perpetual check around my king. My rook defends this so he can't like take twice and keep checking me over and over, but he does have this move. But this I'm not afraid of. This I do not fear. Perhaps I should, but I don't. Um, here, let's. This is disgusting, but we're going to do it anyway. Um, While well, I try to think of a plan. Man, I wish I had a trap here. I almost do. It doesn't quite work. 
But who needs traps? Um, well, no. Hang on. Yeah, we need to kick the queen first. Then after that's kicked, then just take the free pawn and win. Exciting stuff. Alright, so I'm up a pawn. Which should mean, uh, in combination with my position being pretty awesome, should mean that I'm winning this. Okay, do we... yeah, let's... um... Oh! He concedes. Okay, I mean, that's probably the best use of time, because... It's funny though, like, you can't entirely see his coin count, but just trust me, it's like 10 trillion. Uh, so he can afford to give a few coins. Um, I guess that's one of the perks of being the developer of the site. Yeah, that was a good game. GG. Alright, so... Um, let's go back to the lobby. Hmm. Quite the quiet lobby today. Um, maybe I should stake for higher than that. Here, let's put one out there for 500 counter coins. Now we've warmed up a little bit. How many coins do I have again? I don't remember. Um, Alright, so nice. So we're playing against a new member. You know that because it says 1500 question mark. Both of those things indicate a new member. Uh, and both of them combined um, definitely indicates a new member. Um, so welcome. <laughs> Alright, so the pot here is 500 from each player, so it's a thousand in total. It appears that my opponent is playing a mirror game. Uh, if I had to guess. I could be wrong. Um, hmm. Here, let's just continue development. Right, right, right. So... Here. Is he gonna repeat my knight move? That could be fun. It's not like I'm threatening anything here. Um, here, let's offer the coin while we're at it, just to see if he takes, uh, if he doubles the pot. Well, okay, we doubled the pot here. Sure, whatever. Your move, buddy. We got 4,000 in the pot. I play it like a sucker. Alright, so... This is a check. Um... I mean, this is looking pretty good for me. Honestly. Alright, so I want a queen. So I'm curious what my opponent is planning. Here, let's offer the coin back. Let's double the pot again. Okay, they concede. Close game there. Really close, except for the part where I went and won a queen. Alright. That was fun. Oh, sure. Okay, he wants... here. Two, two could play that game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we're going to just play the silly thing here. Um, sure, why not? Is he going to repeat that? No, of course not. He's not going to give away material that easily. He is posing a bit of a challenge this time, though. Uh, he's trying to hustle me. I'm trying to build up my confidence and then shatter it when I'm most vulnerable. Um, which, I mean, as long as I'm winning all the coins, I guess that doesn't matter. 
Uh, so... Okay... How do I... Oh, this knight can't move. That's a free knight. There we go. I mean, yeah, he can copy that move, but... I'm already up some... How much am I up? I forget. Okay, so he gives away this bishop. So, you're up, buddy. Do you want to double the pot or not? Um... He does. Interesting decision. Okay. That is a legal chess move. Um... Here, let's counter that with an equally legal chess move. See what he comes up with. Most people would expect you to just take the hanging piece, but it's not going anywhere, so why take it? Alright, I suspect that the soundtrack is probably getting to be a bit much at this point. Let me know if I'm wrong. I kind of like it, but... There's other tracks I could play. Yeah, why don't I go pick out... Um, how do I get back to my Steam? Steam... Uh, oh, right. Let's play... Um, the Read Only Memories soundtrack. Oh, can I? I thought I had the Read Only Memories soundtrack installed. Okay, that's weird. Okay, that didn't play. It still didn't play. Okay, let's pick out this soundtrack. There we go. That'll do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, I should have slow rolled this guy, like he's trying to do to me. Alright, let's just keep doubling the pot, because apparently that's what we're up to today. Um, this guy might be trying to help my coin count. Um, Contra. Oh, this track is beautiful. I've, I've actually got sheet music for this. I forget who arranged it for piano, but it's definitely a lovely piece, but also a very challenging one. Um, by the name of Fallen Down is the name of this um, work. Um, I don't remember who arranged this for piano. Um, I'm trying to remember where I obtained it from. Um, it's one of the very few times I've actually purchased sheet music online. It's not something I do often. Um, if anybody could remember where it is that you obtain that from, I'd be glad to advertise or remind people where that's at. Um, okay. Oh, and then here's the ruins theme. I'm still thinking about, well, since I've got like a minute 43, my opponent is 27 seconds. I'm still thinking about where did I get that music from. Um, at this point, the pot is 64,000 Contra coins, so... Oh, okay, let's go back, hit the rook. Um... It wasn't band camp. No. Alright, so we've got a ton of pieces here. We have more pieces than we know what to do with. Alright, I'm just gonna pull back. Um. Yep. 
Yeah, let me look up where I got this, the sheet music from. 64,000 Contra Coins are mine, and my opponent wants a rematch. Here, let's double the pot on move one, just because we can. Even though this gives him draw odds, I don't necessarily care. Alright, so... Let's see, does he play the main line? No, 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 no. So we're going to get embarrassed here, because I don't actually know how to play this. Um, I should know this, because I'm a seasoned chess player. I should know all this stuff. Um... I think pawn d4 is playable, but not best. Like, I know queen e2 is not the way to go here. At least I'm pretty sure it's not. How do I insert the overlay? Oh, it is definitely in OBS. Sorry, there is no way in Twitch to remove it. Um, if it's that much of a hassle, I guess I could get rid of it. Um, So my opponent's just trying to catch me off guard, and they I think they've finally succeeded in doing so. Um, Alright, but maybe I'm coming out ahead here? Maybe. Here, duplicate this one. The queen move is kind of hard to copy, as are checking moves. Alright, so yeah, the Undertale soundtrack is not the best choice. I was more just trying to test, do I have anything else I could play? Let's... Um, let's see. Let's try these tracks. Well, that's really faint, unfortunately. But yeah, it's like the FTL soundtrack. Uh, 3-0? Sure, why not? Looks like there aren't too many people on at this hour, so I should be glad to accept challenges from anybody. Alright, so... I'm threatening bishop check among... Like, probably a dozen other things. Um, right, and he should just proceed and play a normal, good, developing move that just brings a piece forward. Um, that's the right principled approach here. While I play unprincipled nonsense. Um, I'm going to play this anyway, because it's check. But also, because, like, he doesn't have necessarily the greatest possible ways to respond to that check. Um, okay, so... As long as I don't give away all my pieces, I should probably be okay here. I am... I admit I'm giving him some time to get his remaining pieces out and active, but... I think I'm doing okay. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, can I not offer the coin back right away? Oh, I'm sorry. I I can't offer it back. Oh, yeah, I can. Here we go. My position's better, so of course I'm going to offer it back. Although I might not be winning. Um, I think between being up a minute on the clock and um, having an awesome position that I do want to try to... Uh, double the stakes and see what happens. Um, okay, how do I dislodge this bishop, though? I have to be careful. Oh. Uh, ooh, this is a tough decision. So I want to force his king between his rooks. That will make it more difficult for his rooks to team up and do anything constructive. Um, and then the logical follow-up is a knight to either this square or that one. Or the center one. They're all good. 
Honestly. It's hard to go wrong here. Here, let's put it in the center. I think that's the best approach. Um, there we go. Fooled you! Alright, good game. Oh, that's right, I'm sorry, I've got challenges here. What am I thinking? Um, so who... Somebody spoiled kitty here challenged me. I can't figure out who's who. Um, sorry, I didn't see I'd have this whole challenge queue here. Um, <laughs> somebody's challenging me to, like, the fastest chess game ever. And then we got... Like, why do I... Why is there this list of challenges? And this other stuff. I don't get it. My opponent's challenging me to a rematch. Um, but I saw these other people challenge me first. Or is that just like a friends list or something? I can't tell. Or is he just playing a game? Um, we're going to accept the rematch offer. Wait, where did my game go? Am I playing a game? Okay, mouse over here. Um, open a new window? Where'd my game go? Um, my games. Okay, apparently I'm not playing a game at the moment. Um, that's a really nice offer, but I'm not intending to accept that. But I don't, I'm afraid to click anything because that might accidentally accept the challenge. So, here, let me just put out a challenge for, how about a two minute, two second increment game? Or how about two minute with one second increment? Let's start getting a little bit more raucous here. I still need that increment here because I'm still slow. But one second's not very much to work with. I did not look at who my opponent is. Oh, it's Pepe. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, are they going to do this pawn move? No. Okay, I'm fine here. I can kick the bit. No, I can't. So let's do pawn takes bishop. No, okay, so... Here we are. Um, play a briar. Or brayer. Uh, okay, and try to break over here. Um, this is actually non-standard. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do in this setup. Um, yeah, this is bad. This is going from bad to worse in a hurry, because I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. That said, maybe I can scrounge something together. So this, whoops! I was trying to click that that's my target, but whatever. I'll double the stakes for the fun of doing so, apparently. Um, okay, let's try to blast this open. Oh! Um... Okay, we're going to try to undermine this stuff. And... Okay, my bishop is now active. Hooray, one of my pieces sees the light of day. Not my finest hour. Um... Okay, so... Oh, right. Of course he pounces on that. It's a good move. Um... Try not to strangle myself too badly. It's also a good move. Can I expel this bishop somehow? Probably not. Um, oh, I have to kick this knight. And once that's kicked, I can start to unwind this pretzel. Um, so, 
thinking I should move my bishop next. Although it's a good piece, but I don't have pe squares for my other pieces, so I have to move the bishop next. Um, that's a pity. If I'd play this more thoughtfully, I'd have something better planned, but here I just have to trade down into this miserable situation. Um, ooh, good move. Good move. Solid. I'm still going to try to cause heck, but um, it's not going so well. Okay, now I'm doing great. Now I'm back in it. Um, here we go. And the soundtrack kicks in right at the perfect time. That's dramatic timing if there ever was any. Um, right, so I foresaw that and I just gonna play this and oh, really? That's ambitious. Alright. Well two can play ambitiously here. Certainly two can play with ambition in this position. So yeah, my pieces of are finding good squares here. Um Do I take it? Do I take it? Can I calculate? Jeez. Not my favorite position ever. I'm better off if the pieces are on the board. I'm still not convinced that I'm winning this. Though I have good chances. I've got decent chances here. So... Contra. Yeah, whatever, we'll take it. Try that on for size. I don't think this works, but I have to try it out. Go, Pawn, go. Go, Pawn, go. Oh god, I have very limited time. Better keep moving. Check. Always check it might be mate. That's a check. That's not a check. Check. This isn't actually mate. Shit. Oh, okay, I got mate in two. That works. Woo! Champion! Still got it. That was exciting. You ever take lower rated yet charming and well liked students under your wing to make them less horrible? Um, online, typically I don't take students. In real life, I've taken students. It's a lot of work. Um, I do try to have fun and point, do some instructive things from time to time here, but formally, I'm not offering lessons at the moment. Um, though analyzing games together can be a lot of fun, so if there's a fun game we can look at, I'd be more than glad to do that. Uh, this game was pretty fun. How does analysis here work? So here's the, oh, okay, that's a fast forward button, not the end of the game button. Uh, so yeah, here this is not the move. I'm supposed to like play this pawn forward or something. I, it's been far too long since I've played in tournaments. I don't remember how this is supposed to work. Um, but yeah, now my bishop's entombed by my pawns, and like this is a disaster. But I managed to scavenge my way out of it somehow, so we'll take the win. Um, yeah, let's just keep creating tables. Also, I should not forget that I should... Oh, am I at the... No, that's tricks only. That's not me. I have yet to get like 41 wins in a row or some ridiculous number of coins in order to reach the top of these tables. Um, but... Um, hmm. A 
apparently finding games at a 2-1 time control is kind of challenging. Should I slow things back down to 3-2 so we have a time to talk and chat and stuff? Oh, there's stuff out here. Somebody's seeking a 10 plus 10, 100 coin game. I mean, that's a different pace for sure. Um, should we try a slower game? Would that be fun? I, hmm. Well, it's kind of quiet there, so sure, why not? Let's take this. A 10 minute game. A game where we have time to think and breathe and talk. I fear that um, my FTL soundtrack is putting people to sleep. Perhaps rightfully so, I'm fearing that. So, knight c3. I used to play this back in high school a bit. This isn't a good, complicated setup. Um, it's been far too long since I've played it, though, so there's a good chance I'll mix it up. Oh, check that out. Here, let's double the stakes, because why not? I already like Black's position here. And see if he ever doubles back or just tries to draw the game or what. But yeah, this is pretty decent for black. So this bishop looks beautiful until you realize it can't do anything on this square. Yes, it does apply pressure to the square next to the king. Um, but, like, every square that can go to is protected by a pawn, so it's not the world's most effective bishop there. Um, in contrast to that, do I dare? Do I dare bring my queen out? No, I don't need to bring the queen out. Um, I need to castle, because he's going to make a cheapo threat. Oh, but it's not just a cheapo threat, it's actually pretty strong. And I'm going to counter that by running away, so now his queen can't get me in combination with this bishop. Otherwise, that could have been disastrous. Um, here, so my lack of opening knowledge could have gotten me into some pretty serious doo-doo at this slow of a game. Um, but that's not what happened. Alright, so we do have time to think Don't and relax. <laughs> I thought I heard it just announce Contra. So, the developers of the site... Am I playing just one game? I thought I'm only playing one game. Where did that sound come from? Okay. Well, that was weird. Um, right, so my opponent threatens to take the center by force. They have four pieces attacking that center square. I have only one, two, three attacking it, so I can't take it. I can't take that very valuable point. So I need to play my pawn in like one square or some unambitious something or other here. Um, let's get my queen out of harm's way. So at this point I'm conceding I've given up the light squares. Which, I really don't like having to concede, but I don't have a choice here, because I messed up. Um, uh, do I push the pawn? No. Okay, we're just going to attack stuff here. Right. It's the most natural response, although perhaps not best. Um... 
because here I'm going to develop the bishop to this center square, likely get an exchange of bishops, and then push the center pawn up to d5. Um, meanwhile, his pieces aren't really placed to try to stop that, but he's trying to push pawns. And s well, okay. I was going to say, he's trying to push pawns instead to try to, I don't know what, on this side of the board, but my pieces are finding a lot of activity all of a sudden. I have one, two, three hitting the center square. He's still got four on it. But, um, so now I still have three on it, but they have, he only has three defending the square, so I can push. And if pawn takes, pawn takes, I'm not losing a pawn. Um, but also I have this massive pawn... I don't know what you call this. Island? It's more of a phalanx, really. But it's more impressive and beautiful than that. Um, like, this is a pawn hammer. This is you having four pawns trying to smash through whatever your opponent puts in front of it. Um, so they're trying to push this pawn up and cause some chaos. Um, how much chaos do I want to allow and how much do I have to do something about to prevent it? Um, it doesn't... well, it's not terrible to move my knight off to the edge. But then they have the queen here. And if I move my knight here to protect the pawn, bishop takes, rook takes, queen takes, pawn. I can't counter with rook takes, pawn, because the knight's defending it. And I don't have a queen trap. So, yeah, moving the knight loses me this light squared pawn. I think I should just push. Um, even though this is not... Yeah, this is the only way... Um, well, no, if I push that... They move the bishop to hit this. I'm okay, though. Yeah, I need to get this pawn out of the way so my bishop has somewhere to move. So, now all my pawns are um, working side by side. Um, so, this gives my pieces even more flexibility as to where they attack next. Um, the thing that looks scary but isn't at the moment is me pushing this center pawn. Because um, I have no way to win material. Well, it's complicated. They don't want to go into it. They chickened out. But this is pretty passive. My position continues to improve. So let's protect the center pawn and threaten to threaten stuff against the king. I could have also put the bishop out here a little bit further up advanced and maybe long term that would have offered a slightly better attacking chance against the... Like, this king and this pawn are nice targets. This queen's going to move pretty soon, but at present the queen is quite a bother, so I'm um, trying to entice this kind of thing. Right, so... And if I take that, um, all kinds of bad things happen to me. So I should just push past. And this can't move. And I'm starting to attack more and more spaces on my opponent's side of the board. Um... Yes, if this completely opens up and my king's a sitting duck, but I have time to attack before that happens. Um, I'm, my counterattack is going to come through the center, and it will be swift. Um, also, like if they move the knight and this rook, uh, then I can just take this guy for free. But they're not going to move both the knight and the rook. That would be silly. Um, 
But yeah, th it's hard for them to make any kind of constructive moves while these pawns aren't advancing. But the further the pawns advance, the bigger the target the king is. Um, so this pawn can't move. The bishop is trapped by the pawn. I'm expecting at some point he'll probably do bishop takes knight just to relieve some of the tension. Even though that's a pretty terrible move. Um, but if I can find a way to make it look like that works for him, he might do it. Um, okay, so he protects this. I have one, two, three, and if I move my knight here, four harassing this pawn. You have one, two, three, and the queen, so that's four defending it. So I cannot just win the pawn on the spot. I'm not instantly winning this game. Um, so... How do I do stuff here? I'm thinking I just push all these pawns forward another square. I have the time to do it. I'm not convinced it's the best plan, but it is a plan. It's And it has the feature of being pretty simple to execute. You just push this one, and then that one, and then that one, and then hopefully something positive happens. But also this takes away squares from his pieces, so... And that gives me more big room to maneuver. So we'll take it. This has been an interesting game, though. Um, so yeah, what do I do here? Oh, finally, a tactical encounter, but I'm just winning a pawn here. I'm winning maybe two pawns, or I could push past and just chance my luck on whatever comes from my position being nice, but two pawns is pretty hard to pass up. Um, yeah, I'm going to take that. I like free pawns. Free pawns are pretty great. This does give his knight a square to move to, but I'm not afraid of that knight. Um, uh, let's see, do I do bishop takes? Do I do rook takes? Do I do queen takes? Where do I start? It's also good. Um, I think bishop takes is the most flexible way to do this. Uh, rook takes is the most... <laughs> the seemingly most aggressive way, but... Um, I actually don't see anything wrong with Rook Takes. We're gonna do Rook Takes. Like, theoretically, the one detriment to bringing the Rook out is that it's a big target. But his Bishop and his Knight can't hit it. And okay, yes, his Pawn could hit my Rook, but I'm not afraid of that. Um, right, so... Okay, so he hits my bishop. Do I just go back? How do I counter this? Do I check him? Checking him kind of gives up the golden goose that's going to keep giving here. The fact that I have all these check threats. Um, but it might obtain something better. But no, we're just going to go back. And if he moves his knight into the same line with the king, then we take the knight. That knight is the most confusing piece to deal with in this position. I'm not going to deal with it. I'm just going to take it. Um, yeah, that is otherwise a really powerful and awesome knight to land on all my light squares around my king. 
so yeah, we're getting rid of that knight, and the nightmare is over. Um, so now, um, I would have hit the bishop if I thought I could take it and win it, but hmm, this is an interesting situation. I'm going to hit the bishop anyway. My king needs a square to run to if ever I get put in check. They call this Luft, so we'll make Luft. Um, did not expect that. Did not expect bishop takes at all. Because um, this position is overall pretty miserable for white. I mean, what's white going to do next? I've been deliberating whether I wanted to push this pawn up and then try to put my plant my knight in the center where the pawn is, but um, that won't be necessary because now I'm just you know my position's far superior. Like this is immeasurably, incontestably better for black. Um, hmm. I wish I could push this forward and just win that pawn. That would simplify everything. It's not so simple. So we're gonna race this pawn up the board instead. So one of these two should promote, is the idea. Um, but also, both of these are gonna provide distractions for his pieces so that my pieces can weave around his and checkmate his king. Right, so he wants to try to break my king side open, but I've persuaded him ever so kindly into pushing this forward and exposing his king. So, yeah, now I just weave behind his pawns and checkmate him. Okay. Um... Oh. Uh, YOLO, let's try it. It's Friday. If pawn takes pawn, I'm pretty sure I'm just instantly winning this. Um, I expect him to push this pawn up, but then I can take this pawn. Although that might not even be best for me. Maybe if he pushes, I push. And we start liquidating some of these pawns that are ever so troublesome. That's actually starting to look appealing here. If he pushes the F pawn, I push the G pawn. Um, and I can start trading stuff. Although he can place Queen H4. Um... Yeah, I shouldn't be so ambitious with the pawns next to my king. I should be more circumspect with that. So, but here... This is interesting. This is interesting. Let's pin the rook. Because I think if I exchange rooks and exchange queens, this outside pawn just wins without any challenge. Um, if we don't exchange rooks, I don't see what he's doing. Because, like, if he uses the queen to defend the rook, then I can take this pawn. No. I'm not winning the pawn. I thought I was winning this pawn. Turns out there might be ways that he could keep the pieces on the board without, um, exchanges. So maybe I should have tried to chase this instead or tried to chase the queen away. I don't know. Oh, hang on. So, yeah, if this rook moves away, then I place this rook on the third rank, hitting the h-pawn. And then if he pushes the f-pawn, I can take it without giving up my queen, because, like, the rook won't defend this anymore. Um, right. So, I saw this... 
Um, we're going to play the easy win here, which is this check. And then this check. And then this check. And then this check. And this is an easy win because our pawn promotes. Well, at least the music's pretty epic. Yeah. Good game. Well played. <laughs> oh, he called me out. He cussed me out here, guys. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, That's quite a struggle. What happened that game? What happened? Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we started... Right, I contoured here because... I'm already... my position's better, though I screwed this up very quickly. Like, apparently this is not the way to go for black. Because white got a really decent position, so how did I mess this up? What went wrong here? Do I need to play my bishop somewhere else? Like c5, perhaps? Do I need to put my bishop out here and start trying to hit the king's side over here, maybe? I'm not so sure. Oh, we can auto-play this. Okay, that's interesting, too. Um, but yeah. I'll have to learn more about this system, because, like, this is an English reversed, basically. Um, I should control the center. There should not be any problems for black here. Black should be doing awesomely, and I just... That didn't work so well. That didn't work nearly as well as I hoped it would. Oh, here we got a one-minute game. Sure, why not? One minute, here we go. C4. Alright. We're gonna get used to trying to play at the faster speed here. Oops, I should have taken this knight. Bet you I'll find it the next time he leaves that hanging. Yeah, we'll take that and Contra. Resignation. Easy. So easy. Alright, so... That was kind of mean. Um, though uh, I have an opinion that one minute chess is not really chess. It's something else. Okay, 500 for... 500 for whoever can take me there. <laughs> Alright, so there's an invitation link. Oh, one minute again? Sure. I'll join you for one minute, why not? Alright, c4. Okay, are we gonna push? Pushing's a bit adventurous, so... Do it with care. Okay, I'm not winning material. So if he goes one more move, yeah, let's chance it here. Knight takes, bishop takes, bishop. Resignation. I didn't even contra that time. I was not comfortable uh, doubling the stakes there. There was too much still up in the air at that point, in my opinion. Alright, so we're back in the lobby. We'll leave that player be. No need to pick on them over and over. Um, so yeah, apparently if we can't get an opponent, um, we might wrap things up here soon. Oh, we got an opponent. Cool. I've got a pot of a thousand coins. Alright, so how are we going to do this? King's Indian? Oh, never mind. Forget openings. Who needs openings when you can play this stuff? I just played this to be confusing. Like, he played this move to be confusing, I countered with my own brand of confusingness. 
and now we're both like hopelessly lost in this abyss of never-ending confusion. Although, um, I do have some nice central pawns. Okay, we're going to contra here because I'm attacking the square next to his king. So I'm going to double the pot, trying to... Um, well, we'll see if he takes it. Or if he just concedes on the spot. Um, or if he can figure out the user interface. Contra. Oh, okay, sure. You can do that. No objection here, but your move, buddy. I like to see a move. So, okay, there it is. Um, let's see. Do I do bishop takes? Yeah, I think bishop takes is best. We'll just keep doubling the stakes here and see if he keeps taking the double. They really have to do something to introduce new players to the game and how Contra works. Um, so I hear that the developers oh, yeah. of the site were inspired by players in Budapest um, who uh, will play for some stakes for each game. Um, but throughout the game, they'll periodically announce Contra that um, they're going to double the stakes and uh, either the opponent accepts the stake double or just concedes on the spot. Um, so here we are playing for 64,000 coins and I'm up a rook. Oh, apparently I cannot Contra because one of us does not have sufficient funds to do that. Not naming names. Um, or maybe it's just against the rules somehow. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is a great position. Not enough credits or coins or something. Yeah, I think my opponent's not able to double because they put themselves in too deep already. Um, So, let's check. For their sake, they'd better win this. <laughs> we'll just put it that way, because otherwise it might be a little harder for them to stake in the future. I really think the site should do a better job introducing new players to the whole betting mechanic. Or bidding mechanic, rather. No, that's actually betting. I had it right the first time. Um... Okay, so let's check here. So we're winning this night. Um, possibly winning a lot more. Because that's also a check. If they push this up to the center, I have en passant check. Um, they didn't, so we're just going to have to do a normal check. Uh, well, that's a beautiful king. Um... Man, I really should have something to do about that king. This feels ugly, but it's effective, so I can't uh, skip out on doing it. It's too effective for me to try to do something else. Do 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 do. Alright, so if they like play a move at the last possible second, I might just sacrifice the queen. Yeah, no, we're playing a sensible game here. The pot in its entirety goes to me. GG. Maybe. I don't know, it was a game. The goodness of the game is somewhat in dispute. Okay, sure. Yeah, we'll take a challenge. Why not? Alright, so let's play King's Gambit. Because, you know, I'm apparently 
not an expert in this opening at all, so we have to try it out until we learn it. Ooh! I like this. This is really good for white. Um, yeah, no, I'm just up a piece. Um, sure, let's win a rook. Can't say no to a free rook. Okay, you're up, buddy. Are we going to double the stakes on this one? Apparently we are. Yeah, okay, let's let's keep going. Again, I think people are probably just doing the Contra thing because they're not so familiar with how um, the gambling or bidding or betting or whatever this works. You can still play chess moves instead of going Contra back and forth. Um, it's just in this position, I happen to be doing so awesomely that, you know... The thought of just letting this go by um, without doubling the stakes does not occur to me here. So yeah, we got 32,000 in the pot at the moment. Um, okay. Let's take this. I admit I am uh, accepting some risk here because the key does have one check. Um, but I can check him too. Alright, so... I think I'm doing okay here. Maybe bishop takes pawn was slightly better. I can't quite tell. It, bishop takes pawn looks effective because um, it exposes my queen to his king as quickly as possible without doing a queen trade. But he has some checks and stuff if I allowed that, so we just did this instead. All right, are we gonna see the king march forward or backward? All right, we'll take it. Uh, that was an exciting game. Okay. Man, do I have to, like, high stakes this stuff to get opposition that can fight back? Apparently I do. Uh, let's put a 2,500 or whatever that is stake out there for a three-minute game. Seems fun. I admit I'm not the strongest player on the site, so I'm not high staking it all the way at the highest level, but uh, this 2500 bid should be pretty good. Um, so yeah, we're still nowhere close on the winning streak. Uh, top five just yet. Well, some people have a pretty good winning streak. Be nice if the top winning streak of the person currently in the lobby were shown. That'd be a statistic that would be continually updated based on who's logged in and who's playing. Um, or rather, best winning streak of a player who's played in the last hour or something. Would be a fun statistic to show there. All right, so we got some people who are doing high stakes games here. Um, three, two, one minute, two minute. Two minute is like super ambitious. Um, I'd rather play my three plus two if I can. I can't move fast enough to play two minute chess. But on the other hand, I can't leave us hanging here forever. Do I take the plunge even though I'm gonna I'm gonna lose? Um it's gonna ruin my perfect winning streak. Huh. 
Hmm, but there's so many coins at stake. I don't know why they didn't just take my seek, though. Or each other seeks, you know? Are one minute and two minute really that different of games that they can't play each other? Alright, somebody else took the two minute challenge. Um, so the other thing here is... Oh, quick game. Oh, is this a bonus if you win so many quick games in a row that were sought with these buttons? No, that's just the stake. Quick 3-0, quick 5-0, with a stake of 1,000. Huh. Well, I think we just won at Contra Chess today. Because I'm not playing anything faster than 3 minutes. And I don't know if we're going to play another 10 minute. And it seems like getting 3 2 is a bit challenging, even though that's like my favorite time control. It gives me enough time to play my end games and try to win them. Um, but I think I'm scaring off everybody with my pretty high rating here, so. I'm not sure that most of these people would provide much of a challenge or fight anyway. Um. Just the guy who's seeking the one minute game. I really don't want to blow it all on one minute, but um Hmm. That could be an interesting game. Do we go for it? Do we go for it and then chicken out after the game happens? Here, let's this is a two minute. I might be able to do two minute. One minute's just too fast. Uh, well, I heard it say Contra. That was pretty special. Um, definitely heard it say Contra. Alright, so... We hit this bishop. Okay, my position sucks. Nothing surprising there. Um... Okay, that's a free bishop. That's like completely free. Oh, except for the whole mate threat, which is very cleverly constructed. So do I concede this, or do we play it out? Ah, jeez. That's really cleverly done. I have time to think about this. Um... Yeah, we'll concede it. Well played. Alright. So I lost 5,000 coins. I lost my perfect win streak. Perfection's not to be attained by anybody anyway. Okay. Whatever, we'll take this. Don't expect me to offer it back. So this is what I do here. Um, it kind of sucks to lose 5,000 coins all at once, but uh, I should be getting them back pretty quickly. Um, oops, not that pawn, this one. Alright, so... Yeah, let's YOLO this. I can just step in like that. We exchange, and now I control the center. Um, I know this is not the most inspiring positional game ever, but... Seems more than good enough. All right. I need to pick up the pace.
There's a lot of tactics here. There we go. We got him. That was intense. Contra. Okay. He's going to try to outspeed me here. So all I have to do is play good moves and just crush him. this okay um let's undermine the center of his Oops, I gave away a pawn. That's a key pawn here, too. Well, maybe I have tact. No, I don't have tactics. I don't have anything to justify that pawn sacrifice, which he declined for some reason, so... We'll just keep the pawn. Uh, okay... Um. Oh, very clever. Well, I'm screwed. This is terrible. Um... Right, right, right. So I have to blockade this on the worst possible square. And then sacrifice for it. But maybe I can hang in there until the time expires.
Okay, so that's a draw, and the pot goes to me because I did not contra. So that's the danger of doing the contra thing. Um, okay. He defends against my aggression, so well played there. Um, I need to play h3 or I'm hosed. There's h3. Right, let's castle and get out of here. Oh! Do I dare? I dare. Let's find out. Let's find out where this leads. Um, where I've got this pawn wedged all the way up in his face. Um, maybe I've got something good coming at this. Let's see, does he take it? All right, uh, we just won a queen. Let's go back and win with our extra queen. All right, so how are we doing? Um, yeah, I guess maybe I should put the Cook, Serve, Delicious music back on, because, again, I think I've put everybody into a nice sleep here. Um, and that's been excellent trance music. Well, trance is the wrong word for it, but it's been excellent relaxation music. Um... Okay, let's pile up on this rook, and I, what a mess. Unfortunately, I have to take there. Um, so I'm threatening mate in one. Oh, does he have to do, like, rook takes knight to get out of it? Because, if so, that's pretty sad. Um, I've made in two instead. There we go. Contra. Yeah, so our opponent's being pretty generous with the whole Contra thing. And they're probably one of the site developers or something, because how else could they have so many Contra coins? I mean, that's a lot of Contra coins. All right, so yeah, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. In case that wasn't obvious. All right, let's hit the knight and see what he does. Okay, so let's pull back and pull back again. Alright, and then hit this bishop. Um, well, I've been doing a lot of hitting here, but this is a swing and a miss. So, um, yeah, we need to get this bishop out of here. And I don't see a clean way to clean up this... Ooh, that's good. That is clever. All right, I'm going to say screw this a7 pawn. We're going to just try to build some kind of attack here. He doesn't want my pawn. I didn't want it either, honestly. Um, okay, let's try this. All right. Um... So back we go again. Okay, 
so my opponent's playing an awesome defensive game. Um, all right, so we need to shore this up. Like, holy moly, that is one solid defensive game. Um, I don't have time to think. I have to move. Alright, and so my failure to think is causing me to play some pretty bad moves here. Uh, can I get away with pawn e5? I'm going to chance it again. The worst that could happen is I lose a pawn. The best that could happen is something amazing, but um, right. So I did see that after I moved. I think I'm still okay. Still think I'm okay. Still think I'm okay. It's getting kind of dodgy though. Okay, I'm screwed. I'm beyond screwed here. So I better move fast. Did not expect that. Oh, that's mate. Well played. Very well done. Contra. Okay, whatever. We'll do your contra thing. Uh, this guy's not too shabby. He played like a scrub the other game, but he, he knows what he's doing. He's hustling. He's hustling and bustling. Uh, okay, so let's go back. Okay, what's that? What is that? Um, that's me getting a solid position. That's a sign that somebody's misplayed and it's somebody is not me. That, like, almost never happens in my favor. So we might as well celebrate it this one time when it did happen. And it happened to be in my favor. Um, so he's debating queen a4 or queen g4. Or something more violent here. Um, or he's just simply disconnected. Or he's trying to bait me into using the Contra token. I can't tell. I know he's got this ridiculous number of Contra coins in store, but... Um, yeah, no, I, I really don't like my position enough to claim... Or to give him draw odds here, so... We're going to let this go on for a bit here. Alright, I'm up 30 seconds, and he's still not moved. Okay, we're going to offer the token. Maybe I've lost my connection. Yeah. It's looking like that's what happened here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and game. There we go. We'll take it. Um, okay, so one minute again. Yeah, what a mess. Alright, well, it appears that uh, the site's gone pretty much dead at the moment. Um, 
There is supposed to be a big event this weekend. I think Trix Only is going to be playing against another master, or another international master, who goes by the name of Beep Beep, I'm in a Jeep. Don't ask. I don't know why. Uh, it's a pretty funny name, but... Yeah, it looks like um, we figured out... Well, okay, figured out two things. One, if I'm using this FTL soundtrack, like... Everybody just like falls asleep or zones out or something. But secondly, um, it looks like this is not the most active site just yet. It looks like that they got some way to go in terms of growth. Uh, if you're a top player, surely you can attract an entire audience here. But uh, for somebody like me who's just an amateur, um, yeah, finding opposition is going to be more challenging at certain hours of the day. Um, so I think we'll have to conclude it there. I would host or raid somebody, except um, we don't have the largest audience at present, unfortunately. I'll have to see what I can do more about the layout and about just learning this, how to use the site in general. Um, maybe have some better way to accept challenges from viewers or something like that, or analyze games. Or I'm not sure what's going to make this successful, but... Um, yeah, as it stands right now, this didn't quite work out. Although we did have a chance to try the site out. I'm starting to learn where the buttons are at, where the text is at, how all, everything works here, but um, I think that's going to be that. Yeah, I'm not interested in 15.0 at the present, so yeah, we'll see you next time. Probably doing some Go or PC game. It's been forever since I need to get back to doing Shenzhen IO. Anyway, it's been fun. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Have a good night.